Sniff, sniff. <sighs> Emily Elizabeth, time to wake up for school. Okay, Mom. Mom? <coughs> My throat feels funny. And your forehead's a little warm. I think somebody has a cold. A cold? <coughs> a cold. You lie back down and I'll get you some juice. That will make your throat feel better. But what about school? I think you should stay home today, honey. But don't worry, school will still be there when you're feeling better. I do feel sort of tired. That's part of having a cold, too. But Clifford and Daffodil and I will take good care of you, right? Thanks, guys. Come on, Clifford. Let's go get Emily Elizabeth that juice. <laughs> and some tissues. Now close your eyes and try to rest. It's important to get lots of rest when you're not feeling well. Okay, Mom. Hey there, little red. Oh, hi, normal. So what's up there, pup? Emily Elizabeth has a cold. Mmm, tough break. Uh-huh. Norval, what is a cold? You don't know? Well, all right, let me see if I can explain it. Have you ever bumped your head when you were playing? Oh, sure, lots of times. It doesn't feel very good at all. And what about that day you kept barking at your shadow? I didn't know what it was, so I barked and barked until my voice sounded all funny like this. Oof, oof. Uh-huh. Now, what is the gooeyest thing that you have ever put in your mouth? Um, I once had a lick of Emily Elizabeth's leftover pudding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yuck. <laughs> I don't think that stuff is for dogs at all. Okay, now, think about your head hurting from that little bump, and that your voice feels all funny from the barking, and your head feels like it is full of that pudding, all at the same time. Oh. And that's a cold. No wonder Emily Elizabeth feels bad. Oh, it's just terrible. Oh. But Mrs. Howard said we could do lots of things to help Emily Elizabeth feel better. Like bring her juice and tissues and, 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 uh, oh, what else could I do? Well, I say that the thing to do is to keep her busy, busy, busy. That way she'll forget that she even has a cold and she will feel better. Keep her busy, busy, busy? Right. Thanks, Norval. Hey, no problem, pup. That's what I do. <clears throat> Oh, this juice feels so good on my throat. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Clifford. Okay, team. Let's give Emily Elizabeth some time to feel better. I'll check on you soon, sweetie. See you soon. This seems like a good day to make some soup. And a good day to take a nap. Wait, Daffodil, you just woke up. How can you take a nap now? Watch and learn. <sighs> I guess I'll have to make Emily Elizabeth feel better by keeping her busy, busy, busy all by myself. Hello, your 
Majesty. You know what, Clifford? I love reading books, especially with you. <gasps> but let's save story time for later, when I'm feeling better, okay? <sighs> I can't keep Emily Elizabeth busy, busy, busy with books, I guess. I wonder what else I could do. Hi, Jorge! Is that a new ball? <laughs> See, uh, Nina gave it to me, but I can't seem to hold on to it. Ooh, you really have to keep your eye on this thing. It's kept me busy all morning. Busy, huh? Hey, Jorge! Do you think I could borrow that ball for a little while? Emily Elizabeth is sick, and I'm trying to make her feel better by keeping her busy. Oh, well, this is the ball, my friend. Sure, please, borrow it. I'll just sit here and, you know, catch my breath. <sighs> Thanks, Jorge. Looks like you want to play ball. Wow, that sure is a bouncy ball. <laughs> Poor Clifford. I'll help you get it. <laughs> My goodness, what's going on in here? I think Clifford wants to play ball. <laughs> you know, I think you're right, but I'm afraid he'll have to wait until you're over your cold, Emily Elizabeth. So, did Emily Elizabeth play with the ball? Nah, not really. Mostly she just sneezed a lot. Hmm, uh, you want to play now? No thanks, Jorge. Emily Elizabeth still has her cold, so I still need to find something that'll keep her busy, busy, busy. You know who you should ask about keeping busy, busy, busy? Flo and Zoe. Oh, sure. They're always busy, busy, busy. Thanks, Jorge. <laughs> oh, hey, Clifford. What's up? Uh, Emily Elizabeth has a cold, and I'm trying to make her feel better by keeping her busy, busy, busy. When Mr. Solomon feels bad, sometimes he listens to music. Music? Uh-huh. And we dance. Ooh, and that always makes him feel better. Hmm. Emily Elizabeth does love dancing. I know, dear, and he's certainly trying hard, isn't he? Come with me, little guy. I'll bet all of your hard work's made you a little hungry. There you go, Clifford. Here's a nice snack. You're not eating? What's wrong? Well, I've been trying to help Emily Elizabeth feel better, but nothing seems to work. What did you try? Looking at our favorite Papa book, playing ball, dancing? Look, Clifford, remember when you had that tummy ache? Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't feel good at all. Did you feel like reading a pop-up book or playing ball or dancing? Oh, no. I just felt like lying down and, well, just lying down and cuddling with Emily Elizabeth. 
so what do you think that Emily Elizabeth feels like doing? Well, she probably wants to lie down and... Huh, wait a minute. I got a big idea. Thanks, Daffodil. <laughs> it was nothing. Hi, Clifford. I'm sorry I can't play with you today. <laughs> Did you come in here just to be with me? You know what, boy? That makes me feel a little better already. 